Hey guys, Aaron here of Apple Updates with a video on how to downgrade your iOS device back to um, iOS 6.1.3. Um, now, 6.1.3 is only if you have a fifth generation iPod Touch and an iPhone 4 and 4S. Um, of course, if you have an iPhone 5, then you're going to downgrade to uh, 6.1.4. So I'm just going to get that out of the way. Basically, you guys, uh, downgrading um, is after you've installed iOS 7 Beta 1 and you're not so impressed with it or, you know, you just think there are some bugs and stuff or whatever, for, for whatever reason, you want to downgrade back to uh, iOS 6. I, uh, for example, uh, want to downgrade back to iOS 6 because some of my apps aren't working, um, like the Podcasts app. Uh, that's a very important app. Um, and I use it on a daily basis, and it's just, it's not, it's, like, it's not working, uh, correctly. Like, things won't play. So, I, um, am going to downgrade back to iOS, uh, 6.1.3, and I'm going to, uh, wait till this fall when, uh, it launches. Unless, of course, um, something else changes. By the way, I recommend you do this because you're anyways going to need to downgrade right before iOS, um, 7 beta 2 comes out because once uh, beta 2 comes out everyone's going to need to have a registered UDID. Right now you don't need to have one but once uh, iOS 7 beta 2 comes out you're going to need to have an, a UDID uh, and if you don't have um, a registered UDID then you won't be able to uh, use your device properly. You won't even be able to downgrade uh, after that. So you know I'm just getting this video out of the way for all of you people that would like to uh, downgrade back to iOS um, 6. Alright, so um, now that I've said all of that, what you're going to want to do is plug in your device. Then of course, um, download the IPSW file. Now I will leave a link um, in the video description where you can download the proper IPSW file. Um, for your device, uh, so that'll be in the video description. Then um, you're going to open up iTunes and then go into your uh, device. Then, very important, um, what you're going to do here is click the restore iPod, but before you click it, you're going to hold down the option key on your keyboard. Of course, if you're in Windows, you're going to hold down shift and then um, once you're holding down that key, press on uh, Restore iPod, and then of course, it, oh, um, it, Find My iPod is on, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn it off. Now I do think that I will need my password, so Find My iPod, yeah, I'm going to just type in my password real quick, and one second, I'm just going to type it in. So that, okay, so uh, I turned off uh, the Find My uh, iPhone or Find My iPod Touch and go, it's going to put this down uh, and hold down Option and then uh, click Restore iPod Now. Then, uh, very important, once you're in this thingy, I'm going to go to wherever you saved your IPSW file, go ahead and uh, click on Open. And iTunes will erase and restore your iPod to 6.1.3 and will verify the uh, restore with Apple. So guys, it's completely normal. Um, it will erase everything. Now, of course, if you were smart like me, you probably should have made a backup. Um, and then you could just back it up uh, and then you could just restore your backup app afterwards. Now, as you can see here, I did back it up at 11.34 today. So uh, I'm good. So I'm gonna, just going to click on Restore, and it's going to, of course, extract the software, and it'll go ahead and um, verify that Restore with Apple. Uh, I'm just going to, oh, it's doing something to the iPod already, and it's preparing it for the Restore. Um, so this is going to, I guess it's going to take uh, a bit of uh, a while. So I'm just going to see if I can do this, put it here for you guys, uh, so you could watch the whole process. Yeah. 
so you know by the way everything like seems new um with the new um software so i'm just gonna let it do its thing there all right so uh it looks like it's finished uh, restoring it says your ipod has been restored uh and is restarting so <clears throat> um you know, I'm just going to see if I could also restore from backup because I am curious to see if I can do that. Um, so, you know, let's, uh, let's see, um, if I can do that. So basically, <clears throat> um, that took like, uh, two or three minutes. Uh, it was relatively quick. Um, and you know, what? let's go ahead and restore, um, as a backup from Aaron's iPod Touch and go ahead and continue. That, of course, is my password. Um, I don't know why it was there. Um, but it's restoring iPod from backup. Uh, and it said restore in progress. Less than a minute. So, you guys, this is just... I'm making this video to know, uh, to let you guys know that if you um, updated to iOS 7, there's always a backup plan. You could always go back. Um, you could always revert to how your iPod was before um, you updated to iOS 7 beta 1. Um, so it's less than a minute. Um, and basically I turned the camera off um, because I didn't want to waste battery uh, and stuff. But it really only took, uh, you know, two or three minutes. So... Um, actually it took two minutes, I was timing it, so less than a minute, and let's see, I can't, I can't uh, turn it on or anything, it's just off like that, um, so let's see if this actually works, um, it's probably gonna work, it should work, but yeah, it's gonna back up. It's gonna restore it from the backup I made today, right before I updated to iOS 7, because I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep it or anything. Um, and I'm not keeping it, so that's good that I can restore it. And also, I hope I have my uh, Subway Surfers uh, data back because um, I had almost unlocked um, Utani's UFO. Uh, like, like, I had almost unlocked that character, so, um, I didn't want to lose that, because you need to get 500, um, of those UFOs, and I need, like, 30 more, so, that would be a bummer if I just lost all of that, um, and, yeah, so, it's still restoring, mm-hmm. By the way, guys, uh, I made a lot of videos the other day, uh, so if that filled up your s subscription box, I am sorry for that. I just needed to get the word out that I am psyched about iOS 7 and uh, about Apple, um, because I am Apple Updates with a Z. So uh, it's taken a little bit more than a minute here. It says 10 seconds, so, you know, that'll take us, like, 10 seconds, okay? And 5 seconds. And the settings for your iPod Touch have been restored. Please to leave your iPod Touch connected. It will appear in the iTunes window after it restarts, so, um... Is it going to restart? And it looks like it is. There's that little wheel. So it looks like that's a good sign. Um, come on. Yeah, it's restarting. So it actually worked, which I am actually surprised um, because Apple made like a whole stink that once you um, update your iPod, um, you won't be able to revert back, uh, especially not if you're uh, if you're not a registered developer. So I'm pretty happy that you know this works, uh, and you know it means good. 
so that's gonna load um and no, I'll just put it down and you know I'll just oh there it goes it finished and everything is not back to normal um I guess some things are gonna load in a minute or two yeah so waiting for sync to start um this is the background that i had though right before i updated like when i backed it up so that probably means that everything's gonna you know go back to everything and also these are some of my folders that i had so you know i think everything's gonna go back preparing apps to sync and um um, yeah, I also had the, uh, assistive touch here, so, you know, that's it. Everything's gonna go back. Um, just to make this quick, uh, little update thing, um, that, you know, all these folders and stuff, they just jumped back. Uh, I didn't do anything, so the restore is actually working and it's gonna copy everything. So, it worked. Um, and, uh, you know what? Great. Alright guys, that's all for this video, um, and as always, have a great day. Goodbye now.